good day and your three friends. You may notice that I have changed locations and that is because school is back in session. I have brought my Ender 3 with me today to school. Uh, it is not a school printer, but I'll uh, bring it here just because I like it and it's fun to show it off to the kids because it's in their price range. You know, how often can you compare a $3,000 MakerBot to a $200 Creality printer? So, the other day, I designed this new part that makes it more sturdy, but I did not like how low I made the uh, bearing. So, now there is a new one. So here's version 6, and it's got the printed bearing. My Replicator Plus was having some stringing issues, but I'm going to work with it just as it is, because I think it's going to spin up fine after a little bit of use. All right, so let's snap this little critter on and see how it looks. You'll notice the version I'm taking off has the guard and I just didn't dig the guard so I made one with and one without and we're attaching the one that is without the guard. Alright while we wait for this to heat up so I can remove the filament let me just show you the modifications I made. All I did was I pushed this in a little further and I pushed this bump out and what that does is it makes it so now this butts all the way up against the uh, part right there so there's less chance of it uh, rotating forward. Some people have noted that that was a problem. Let's see if we can pop this off while it's heating. So there it does snap on pretty good and as soon as I can pull out the filament when it gets up to about 200 degrees then we'll be able to put the new one on. One thing I do is whenever I do remove the filament and right there it just crossed 200. I always push in a little bit so I get a little bit of uh, the filament uh, melting out and then I do it kind of almost like a cold pull but it's a hot pull and that way you clean out whatever filament was in the machine. There's the part removed. Let's grab the new part, snap that little fella on. Now if we look real close you can see that there's still room to push it in and that's that last bit I just adjusted and it does snap in there nice and tight when you get it and it has very little room to wiggle and now we can snip our filament I don't know if you've noticed but I have found that there is one angle that is much more successful than the others I don't have it memorized which is which so you usually have to cut twice Oh, hey, I got the first one this time, so it just goes in nice and easy. And you can tell I've got the height better because right now it's much easier to uh, put the filament in because the bearing is not being a nuisance at the moment. I've got a little bit of filament pushing out the bottom, so I know that I'm good to go. I'm in the groove, in the groove, and bam. There is version 6 in place, and now it's time to do a test print and see how much we like that new filament path. I'm thinking that's pretty sweet. I mean, it is straight in, so I don't think there's going to be any friction. Friends, if you like this movie, please hit that like button. If you haven't hit subscribe before, please hit subscribe. If you want to add a comment, please add it to the comments down below. And if you want to be the first to know when this brand new movie from me, HL Montech, click that notification bell. Have a great day. Enjoy your ending.